Welcome to the Topic Sentences Practice Lesson. Let's practice what we learned in the mini lesson. Strategy one tells us that a topic sentence should always be in the form of a statement and it should never be a question. Even so, many students begin their body paragraphs with a question, thinking that the question might be appropriate if their plan is for the paragraph to actually answer that question. Keep in mind, a question can never serve as a topic sentence in a college essay. You can, however, very easily turn a preliminary question into a statement if that is where you started. For example, what is the job outlook for teachers in North Carolina can easily become the job outlook for teachers in North Carolina is, and then you fill in the blank. Notice how this new statement is merely a rephrasing of the original question. If this were the beginning of your revised topic sentence, you could now fill in the blank and complete the sentence with whatever word or phrase that you felt was appropriate. The body paragraph that follows this topic sentence, then, would use detail and examples to develop this main idea. As we move on to strategy number two, we will continue working with the practice thesis from our mini-lesson. The general subject was fast food restaurants, Chick-fil-A in particular. Our thesis roadmap promised that the essay would analyze three specific points about that subject. Food selection, customer service, and overall atmosphere. These three points support the position that Chick-fil-A is different from most fast food restaurants. In the mini lesson, we learned that the body paragraphs following the thesis and the topic sentences that introduce them must develop those exact points in the exact order promised by the thesis roadmap. Since I already composed a sample for the first topic sentence, I'd like you to compose the next two for practice. In a moment, I will ask you to pause the video. After the video has been paused, grab a piece of paper and pencil. Then, review the instructions on this slide and draft topic sentences for the last two main ideas promised by our thesis roadmap. When you finish, you can restart the video and see how your ideas compare with ours. Please, pause the video now. If you are not yet finished with this exercise, please stop the video and return to the previous slide. Then, pause the video and complete this important practice opportunity. Here's what we came up with. Notice how the wording in each one of the topic sentences reflects wording from the thesis. Did your topic sentences do the same? Also, notice how the order of our topic sentences follows the exact order of the thesis roadmap. Does your order do the same? Feel free to pause the video now to review our example ideas and compare them with yours. Strategy 3 suggests that we use transitional words or phrases in our topic sentences because transitions can encourage logic in the organization of each body paragraph's main point. And logical organization, of course, makes your writing easy for the reader to follow. Transitional words can also hint at the essay's organizational scheme and underscore the author's purpose for writing. Look at our sample topic sentence from the practice exercise we just completed and compare it to one that includes a transition. Both are at the bottom of this slide. The original reads, the service Chick-fil-A provides to customers exceeds that of the typical fast food restaurant. The transitional says, much like its unique selection of food, the service Chick-fil-A provides to both dine-in and take-out customers exceeds that of the typical fast food restaurant. Notice how the added transition, in conjunction with the expanded content, hints at an underlying point of significance, that all of the roadmap's main points might add up to mean that Chick-fil-A is not only different from the traditional fast food restaurant, it is in fact better. Thank you for completing the Topic Sentences practice lesson.